Hey everyone, it's Mike, and uh, I'm going to play some Paths of Glory today. Uh, we're going to play the historical uh, game, and I'm going to add in the optional cards. And uh, we're going to get right into it, and uh, today I'm going to show you the first two turns. Uh, so ideally we'll end at turn three with both powers at limited war, but not necessarily. Okay, so let's get started. Um, I will probably not go super into detail, uh, just because presumably you have at least some background with the game. Uh, but it'll still be fun to follow along and see how it plays out. So, uh, we are zoomed in and we have played the Guns of August. We have taken our two war status and we are activated for attack. So what I am going to do is first I'm going to draw cards. Oops. I have to draw seven cards. Okay. Uh, da -da. Do we have any combat cards we can play? Uh, nope. And do the allies? No. All right. So we are we are going to split off these two armies against the BEF and the third army against the French fifth. So the BEF roll, um, we're gonna roll Germans and allies. Okay, so we rolled a one on the 10, which is good enough for a single loss, and they rolled a two on the five, which is also three. Uh, and it has been a minute, so when there's a tie, what happens? All right, so we stay put. Both sides I've considered to have lost, and we stay put. All right. And then let's do the other attack. We'll roll German and allies. So six on the five is five, and they rolled a four on the three, which is three. So they have to retreat two spaces, one, two. And we will not advance. Okay. All right, uh, so allied hand. They will play the Paris Taxis to flip this army in Paris. The Germans will play this mobilization card for an event to get two immediate replacement points. So second action. So let's do some ops with this Russian card. It doesn't specifically say it's an event, but I'm going to assume that it is one. We'll attack there. And we'll attack here. And we will attack here. So the Serbians will try to eliminate this Austrian-Hungarian core. So Serbian roll and Austrian Hungarian roll. All right, so the Serbian roll was a three. The three on the two is two, and they rolled. Yeah, that's nothing. So they are eliminated. Good for the Serbs. All right, so we're going to attack Tarnopol. So six versus three. That's not good for the Austrian Hungarians which so far we're on uh, the historical path. So three losses, 
Uh, that's good enough for one flip, and they only do one in return. They again have to retreat two spaces. They'll retreat to there. And we'll send this Russian army forward. Now we've given the now we've given them something to think about. All right, so we are going to play uh, severe. Let's play severe weather, and we will move here, and we will move these guys here. All right, what to do? The allies. We are going to play the rape of Belgium for the event. So we are at nine victory points, so definitely not the way Central Powers would like to start this game. Um, so this 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 start is kind of a bummer for them so far. Um, we are going to play Reichstag Truce for replacements. Is that what we want to do? We're going to play Falkenhayn for replacements. Do we want to play replacements now? Uh, no. We're going to go on the offensive. We're going to move into here. One. We're going to attack with these two. That's the BEF. That's two. And then for three, we are going to withdraw to Tannenberg. All right, so 10v4. So German roll, allied roll. Again, we're not, we're not getting great results for the Germans. So we get a four, and they get... So that's a flip for us, and they are permanently eliminated. Uh, but again, it's a standoff. However, now they have a problem, and that problem is Brussels is now held with a core. Um, so it's going to get owned pretty hard um, if it just stays there. So let's see what we can do to help them out. So let's move them there. That'll give the Belgians a little more punch. And move them there. Germans will play Falkenhayn uh, for replacement points. And then the Allies. I think we want to save both of these reinforcement cards. I think this is probably as good a time in any. If we're going to blink first, uh, we might as well play in trench now. Or we could use this for replacements. Yeah, let's do it for replacements. All right. Last card of the turn for the central powers. Um, 
we are going to play Reichstag Truce. And for the Allies, last play of the turn. Um, it's this two ops card for sure. Um, Okay, so that is the whole turn. So let's just pull out our sequence of play. So siege phase, uh, we have no sieges. Attrition's not a worry. Uh, war status, no victory point table, no automatic victory, no armistice. We don't check war commitment on turn one, so replacements. So allies go first, and they have two Russian. Oh, I guess we didn't actually take any losses with the Russians. That's a waste. Uh, let's see, one French, one English. And we'll flip our armies on the Near East map. So two for the Austrian Hungarians. That's one. Send that to the reserve box. And then actually how many do we have in the reserve box? We have a good number in the reserve box. So instead of doing that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this army and this army. And then I think the Germans get three. One. Two. All right, so we have a, a lost one there, which tells me, oh, nope, we've got this one here. Almost missed that. I was going to say, that tells me either we didn't make enough attacks or we played too big of an, uh, an operations card. Um, Alright, so going back to the sequence of play, um, we draw strategy cards. Um, allies, we'll get six. And Germans, we'll Okay, what a pain in the butt. The Germans will not be able to get to limited war. Uh, and neither will the Allies. That is a direct result of uh, playing with the optional cards. So uh, consider that before you toss them in. Um, so Germans are up first. And let me just see, I think reinforcements can go uh, capital or friendly controlled supply source. Okay. So German reinforcements. We are going to play we're going to play Ninth Army. Oh, I haven't advanced the turn. That's why. All right. 
So let's send this to Essen. All right. We'll play entry reinforcements. And then we will play Austrian Hungarian reinforcements. Oh, we forgot to roll mandated offensive. So Germans, allies. So the Germans are off the hook. And the allies are France. Okay. Here we go. And we will attack the German army here. And we'll attempt a flank attack. So we'll roll for the flank. And we miss the flank. Um, I think if we had gotten even a two, we would have hit the flank. So the Germans fire first. And they roll a six. So they get five. And doesn't really slow the allies down. Too much, it does bring them down a single column. Uh, so they get a five as well. So it's no result. But the uh, mandated offensive is made. So then, let's go back to the, the Germans here, I should say the Central Powers. Okay, and let's play this for operations. So we'll go one, two, three. We'll play that now. Uh, and that's two ops. And we have one more. And we will move this Austrian core down. So we are getting into position. Actually, what we'll do is we'll go there. And that might be a better move. All right. Um, allied powers. Um, Play the British Army event. While we have the chance. So then, Central Powers, um, let's play wireless intercepts for operations. So 
So we will attack here. And we will move here. We'll go one, two, three, four. We'll give that a little bit more power. And we'll attack this French army here. Uh, and we will play the withdrawal combat card uh, as the French. Oh, it's played after the attempt flank die roll, which we're not doing. Okay. Um, all right. So, German roll, allied roll. So, this three, that'll be a five. So because the card we played, we can save that last one. And they roll they had a two, and they rolled a two. Uh, so that's just one. So I have to retreat two spaces. One, two. Uh, and we can end in Cambrai, correct? All right. Back to the Allies. Play this for ops. So we'll move this here for one. And we'll move this here for two. And then we will attack. Uh, we don't want to attack there. Third. Well, let's just, if we're not sure, let's just play this one. Save Moltke for later. Back over to the central powers. So let's play this for operations. We'll attack here. We will attack here. Let's do the Austrians first. So it's six shifted to five for mountains. So that is a three. They get a five on the two or six on the two which is also three. Uh, 
And then 10 to 5. German rolling a 10. Allied 5. Much better results. Um, so 10. 4 on the 10 is 5. and two on the five is three. Uh, so I have to check out retreats in a fort. Okay, so we do have some surviving full strength units. I think we may advance this guy here. We will. Right. Play the Russian reinforcements, Kharkov. Uh, let's see, as the Germans. Um, Germans have one, they can spend, the Austrian Hungarians have one. Um, So we're going to try and destroy this fort. Roll five. And we roll a three. And on the one, they can't do any damage. So that's flipped to destroyed. We're up to 13 VP. And then over here, so it's three on the mountain. Three to one. So three. So two, one, um, we can retreat one space or we can cancel retreat by taking a step loss. Well, it seems like we're going to get owned no matter what. But I feel like if we just take the 
take the additional step loss and just make them hold out for longer. Okay. And then the allies, they get to go last. And then what do we have? Let's play for operations. We'll go one, two, three. And one, and I don't know what to do with this third one. Uh, if I had played Entrench, I would do an Entrench roll. Neutral. I mean, I guess we'll let it die. Dead up. Dead up. All right. So that is six. And just go through the end of turn sequence of play. Um, worst Siege, no. Worst Status, no. Uh, replacement cards, neither side played a replacement card. So we can match it up to turn three. Um, and let's get some cards. And... All right. Well, the Germans and the Allies will both be able to get to limited war by the end of this turn. Turn three, so I will pause it here and say uh, thank you for watching the first two turns. Um, it's all coming back to me now. Um, so thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll be back at it soon.